tengo en esta vaina porque no puedo. Good evening. Hello, hello. How Hi. are you today? Brian. How are you? Good evening. Hola, hello. Hi, Ana María, it's a pleasure. How are you? Fine, thank you, Mario. I am good. I am good. Chris, Saul, Daisy, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Okay, it's time to begin, right? We are going to make a review of the yes, no question. And let's start immediately with the class. Okay. Okay, so today we are going to continue working with the yes, no question, right? For that reason, listen to the conversation again. Pay attention. Page 36, exercise two, conversation. Nice car. Listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job, and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. Okay, so this is a conversation, right? Talking about uh, the activities you do, right? in the simple present. Now, let me show you this. Uh, let's go to page 44. But this is the simple present, affirmative and negative. Now, we have this conversation about a new apartment. Remember, the first part is affirmative. The second part is negative, and now, Yes, no question. Leave. Page 44, exercise 2, conversation. My new apartment. Listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. So we have here the use of yes, no question. And it says, do you live in downtown? No, I don't. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. So... Here we have the yes, no question, right? And the short answer. Pay attention. Page 45, exercise 3, grammar focus. Simple present, short answers. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Now, do you live in an apartment? Two options. Or yes or no, right? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedroom have windows? Talking about the bedrooms in plural, right? So we say they. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris? Ah, Chris is a he. Right? So we say, does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. Oh, no, he doesn't. Does the house, because it's an object, we say it, right? Does the house have a jar? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Right? So this is sim the, the simple formula. Yes and no. Yes or no. And we use the auxiliary do and does. Right? Now, here we have a conversation. Now we are going to complete together this conversation. Let me see here, right? 
a little big. Yes. Okay, class. Now let's complete this this conversation, right? Do you live in an apartment? No. I don't. No, don't. I don't, right? Correct. No, I don't. I I have, I live, or I work in a house. I live. I live. I live, I I live in a house. Very good. Thank you, everybody. I live in a house. And Linda says, it's a question, right? So what is the question here? Because we're using eat. We use do or does? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, Jorge. It's a pleasure to see you again. Now, so eat. Do we say do eat or does eat? Does it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. That's totally correct, right? Give me a second here. Okay, good. Does it live or have? Have. 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 Very good. Does it have a yard? Yes, it do or yes, it does? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Correct. I like it. Now we're learning how to use the auxiliary do and that, right? That is the most difficult part in simple present. When to use do and when to use does, right? Excellent also, I like it. <laughs> okay, now let's continue. That sounds nice. And then do you or does you? Do you. Do you. Do you, do you right? Do you what? Do you have, do you work? Live. Or do you live, right? Do you live, do you live alone? Alone is no yes, with family. Yes. No with family, right? Okay. Give me a second. Good. Let's continue, right? Let me see. Let me copy some information here. Okay, here. Okay, continue. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. No, I don't. Correct. You see, now we can use the auxiliary in a fear, uh, in negative and in question, right? Okay, I work, live. I have, or I live with my I family. Live. 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 live with my family. Now another question. I live with my family. Uh huh. Correct, right? I live with my family. Now Linda says, "Do you? Do you? Right? The auxiliary do. That's correct. Do you? Do you live? Do you work? Or do you have? Sorry. Do you have? Do you have? Bless you, Marlon. Bless you. Do you Lo have? Lo siento, right? No problem, Marlon. no problem. You know the solution. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. So the solution is tea. Yes. Tea. And honey. Right, Mario? Yo creo que yes, esto es alérgico. Yes. Porque ya me pasó la Maybe, maybe it's the, the, the weather, right? <coughs> the weather, yes. Good. Let's continue. No, I don't. I live with my... The weather means the clima, right? The weather. No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. Yes, do. I do. Yes, I do. I four sisters. I have. I, I have. have. I have four sisters. Right now, Dudley says, "Dudley, how many sisters? Four. Four sisters." Says Dudley. Right? Four sisters. I have four sisters. Really? And then this is a question. Your house. Your house is he, she, or it? He. Sorry, he. I don't know, Rick. She. It looks fake. Mm, your house. Your house is a person or is an object? An object. An object. So we use do or does? Does your that, house. That's... 
Does your house or does it? What? Live, work, or have? How many bedrooms? Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. That's totally correct, right? Okay, yes, it does. And it. It. It has. It has. It has, correct. Four. It has four. It has four, right? Bedrooms, imagine. So that's the situation here, right? Okay, give me a second. I'm receiving a message. Uh, okay, who's coming to the class? Jansi, right? Sorry, give me a second. Perdonen que interrumpa, pero estoy recibiendo mensajes. Excuse me, excuse me. Jansi. Jansi is coming, right? The next question is, do you have your own bedroom? Do you have your own bedroom? Correct. Excelentoso. Do you, do you have your own bedroom? And then it says, yes, I do. do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. I'm really lucky, right? Go now. Please repeat after in me. In this case, uh, uh, yes, well, no, in, in this context, is the lucky. What lucky. is the meaning in this uh, affirmation? Lucky is suertudo. Oh, suertudo. I'm really lucky. Yes, yes because I have my own room. Uh, remember that sometimes we I'm have. Fortunado in este caso, quizá. Yeah, correct. Yes. Well, for example, in my case, in my family, I used to share the the my bedroom with we were five, <laughs> five in one bedroom. Imagine, so it's complicated. But some people say the bedroom is only for me, for me. So I am lucky because only one bedroom for me, right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes with brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, sometimes we have to share. Or sometimes with Pirulais and, and Misifus. <laughs> it's not, not, not only your bedroom, right? Okay, let's continue. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. That sounds nice. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters.
really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. It has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Okay, class, two volunteers. Come on, let's practice this conversation. Two volunteers. Raise your hand, please. Teacher. And say, me. Teacher. Hi, teacher. Okay, Marcela and Saul. Saul. Yes, oh. teacher. Saul, okay, good. So, Marcela, you're Linda, and uh, Saul, you're Chris. Ready? One, two, three, action. Do you live in apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a year? Yes, I do. Yes, it does. That's so nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house have many brothers? Bedroom? Yes, it does. It has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Okay, one more. One more, please. Two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Let's practice the conversation, okay? Uh, Dago? Dago and... Help me, please. Uh, maybe. Thank you, maybe. Okay, uh, Dago, you're Chris, and maybe you're Linda, right? Ready? Okay. One, two, three, action. Do you like in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a year? Yes, it does. Does so dice do you lie alone? No, do you I live. Don't. Sorry, I... sorry, maybe, maybe. Do you live? Monday, Monday. Do you live? Do you... Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that sounds nice. Is it? That sounds nice. That sounds nice. Do, Do you, you live, live alone? Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with with my family. Do you have an an brothers or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really, really, does your house and have money? Okay. Bedrooms. Bedrooms, yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. It has four. Do you do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Okay, thank you very much. Now, do you have any extra question? Do you have any extra question? No question. No question. Okay. Good. Now, another message. Excuse me. Tengo otro mensaje por aquí. Uh, ah, Claudia. Yes. Very good. Okay. Very good. Good. And give me a second here. Okay. Good. Let's continue. Right. Now, we're going to make another practice. Continue with the simple present, yes, no question, right? Good. Now, let's copy these four questions. 
Question number one. Does Chris live in an apartment? You say, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does his house have a jar? Yes, it does. Or no, it doesn't. Does he live alone? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does he have his own bedroom? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't, right? So you're going to uh, you're going to answer this question. Please copy in your notebooks the four questions. Copy. Copy. Question one, question two, question three, and question four. Copy, copy, please. So in the meantime, I will take the attendance. Good. Ana Maria? Say present. present. Okay, thank present. you. Brian? Present. Thank you, Brian. Claudia, ya la noté de oyente. Claudia, no problem. Eh, Chris? Here. Thank you. Eh, Daisy está de oyente, ya la noté de oyente. Eh, Dagoberto? Present. Thank you. Glenda? Present. Griselda? Present. Thank you. Jorge está de oyente, ya le tomé la asistencia. Ok, en Josué está de oyente, ya le tomé la asistencia. Now, Carolina. Present. Ok, thank you, Carolina. Marcela. Present teacher. Thank you, Ernesto. Present teacher. Mario. Mr. Present Olan. teacher. Ok. Marlon. Present teacher. I want to present. My son. Oh, your son. Sí. Let me see. Sí, oh. Fabricio. Hello, Fabricio. Hola, Fabricio. <laughs> hey, Fabricio, how are you? Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure, Fabricio. My name is Dudley. What's your name? What's your name? Fabricio? Nice name, eh? Fabricio Alessandro. No, no, no sabe decirlo todavía. Oh, okay. Okay, you're a baby. Welcome to the class, Fabricio Alessandro. It's a pleasure. Bye bye. <laughs> Ahí está en la maquita, bien tranquilo. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Excellent. Excellent father. Excellent father, Marlon. <laughs> okay, let's continue, right? Uh, maybe? Present. Okay, thank you. Otmar? Present. Saúl? I am active, teacher. Good, thank you. And uh, Jancy is listening in this moment. Ya le tomé la asistencia, Jancy. Ya se va a conectar. Okay, now, let's continue, right? Now, let's remember the question. Does Chris live alone? In, sorry, does Chris live in an apartment? Excuse me. Number two, does his house have a jar? Number three, does he live alone or with the family? Does he have his own, propio, propio, his own room? Okay, now let's go to, oh, sorry, I have two, two messages. Uh, okay. Now, let's go to the conversation, right? Did you copy the questions? Did you copy? Yes? Okay, now. Yes, teacher. Let's go to the conversation. Now, does Chris live in an apartment? Yes or no? Volunteers, please. Volunteers. Does Chris live in an apartment? No, he don't. No, he don't or no, he doesn't? He, he doesn't. No, he, no, does. he doesn't. No, he doesn't, right? 
Ah, ok. Uh, it says. Um, let me see. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Um, no, but let me see. I have a new apartment. Oh, but it doesn't say, right? It doesn't say. Give me a second. Let me check again. Does Does Chris live in an apartment? No, right? No, no, he doesn't. Okay. Does his house... No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Es que algo está malo aquí, no sé. Deme ver la instrucción. Sorry. Read the conversation in part A. Ah, the conversation. Yes. Sorry. Es que me había ido hasta atrás. <laughs> okay. Do you live in an apartment? And, and Chris says, no, I don't. Uh -huh. this, this is the part, right? No, I don't. Okay, continue. Does his house have a jar? Does his house have a jar? Yes or no? Yes, it does. Yes, it does, right? Yes, it does. Thank you very much. Number three, does he live alone? No, he lives no, with I her don't. parents. He lives with his parents, right? Oh, no, he doesn't. Does he have his own room? Does he have his own room? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay, thank you very much. Now, we are going to do something very special. I need that in this moment, he said write five questions, but no. Let's copy three questions only. Three questions about the other person. About other person, says, for example, examples of questions. Do you live alone? Do you live with your family? Do you live in a house? Do you live in an apartment? Do you have a bedroom? Do you have a kitchen? Do you have a living room? Do you live in a big house? Do you live in a small house? Etc., etc., etc. Right? Three questions, please. Copy. Personal questions. Copy in this moment, please. Three questions. <laughs> Subite, espérate, no, 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 estoy en clase. Mm -hmm. I have two messages, it says, uh, ah, okay, uh, Claudia, we are going to copy three questions, three yes, no question. Vamos a copiar tres preguntas de sí, no, right, about the apartments or houses. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Question. Tell me. How spell uh, terraza in English? How do you say? Repeat. Terraza in English. Raza is a... Uh... Terraza. Ah, terraza. <laughs> <It's>... uh <-huh. laughs> so, so we... I thought you were talking about dogs. Because uh -huh. raza, raza is breed, breed, no. Terraza uh -huh. is the, the balcony. The balcony. Balcony. It's the same balcony, right? Okay. Balcony, uh -huh. The balcony. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, Marlon. Cochera in English. Garage. 
Garage. Ah, garage. Thank garage. you. No problem. Uh-huh. You can say doors, windows. Hey, what else? Do you have a, a swimming pool? Huh? Piscina, swimming pool, etc. Three questions, right? Okay, now we're going to start with Ana Maria. Ana Maria, I need you to make three questions to Brian. And Brian is going to say, yes, I do. No, I don't, right? Ready with the questions, Ana Maria? And Marie, Ana Maria, do you copy? Diez cuatro, diez cuatro, Ana Maria, do you copy? Ah, oh, okay, Glenda estará de oyente. Ana María, ok, Brian, can you hear me, Brian? Brian? Ok. Ok, Brian, now you're going to make the questions to Christian, to Chris, right? Make your question, Brian, to Chris. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Um, uh huh, Chris. Uh, to my house. I only listen for a while. Ah, okay. No problem, Chris. So you are oyente too. Okay, good. No problem, Chris. So Brian, make the question to Dagoberto. To Dagoberto. Do you understand, <clears throat> Brian? Brian, eh, terminó sus preguntas. Okay. No, 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 ok. So, I, I will give you the question, right? Entonces yo le, voy a, yo le doy las preguntas y usted le hace las preguntas a Dagoberto, ok? Ready? Ok. Ready. okay. Ready. Qu question number one. Do you live in an apartment? Do you live in an apartment? Ok, Brian. Hágasela a Dagoberto, ok, come on. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. Good. Now, uh, Brian, make this question. Do you live in a big house? Do you live in a big house? No, I do. I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Now, Brian, ready? Does uh -huh. your house have a kitchen? Uh, sorry? Does your house have a kitchen? Does your house have a kitchen? Yes, it, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Dagoberto. Now, Dagoberto, you make the questions to, uh, to Griselda. Three questions to Griselda. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you live in La Unión? Ajá, Griselda. Yes, I do or no, I don't. Griselda, do you copy? Griselda, que no estaba lloviendo. No, no, Glenda es. Glenda, la que está de oyente. Vamos a ver. Vamos no, a ver. teacher, ya que estoy. Griselda. Estoy de oyente también, Griselda. Ok, creo que, creo que, sí. Creo que Griselda. Okay. Bueno, perdón, Griselda, que no le había copiado. Entonces está de oyente, ok. Sorry, Griselda. Entonces permítame, Dago. Déjeme, ah. déjeme corregir aquí. Ok. Now let's make the question to Carolina, Dagoberto. The question to Carolina. Ok. <laughs> Carolina, do you live in La Unión? Not. Okay. No hay. 
No hay dos. Ok, Dagoberto, ¿does Carolina live in la Unión? No, she doesn't. Continue. Question two. Okay. Carolina, do you have a pet? Yes, I do. Dago, does Carolina have a pet? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Mascota, pet, right? Yes. Okay, continue, continue, Dago. Uh, Carolina, do you have books? Yes. Yes, I do. Does Carolina have books? Yes, she does. Thank you, thank you very much. Now, Carolina, make the question to Marcela, please. Okay. Mm. No sé si lo va a pronunciar bien, pero me corrige. No problem, no problem. <laughs> uh, Marcela, do you link uh, three bath bathroom? Uh, do you have a bathroom? Uh, yes. okay. Do you have a three bathroom? Ah, okay, wait. So, do you have three bathrooms? Bathroom. Uh, do you have three? Do you have three? three? Bathroom. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Okay. Does Marcela have three bathrooms, Carolina? Cheese. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. No. No. No she. No cheese. No she doesn't. Doesn't. Okay. No she doesn't. No she doesn't. Okay. Continue. Question number two, Carolina. Okay. Um, do do the house in garden, Marcela? Okay. Yes, does, I do. Wait, 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 Car Carolina. Does your house have? Jar does your Perdón. house? Does does your, your house have uh -huh. a garden? Have a garden? And a garden? Yes. Uh huh. Yes, yes. it is. No, yes, it does. It does. Ah, <laughs> uh, because uh, Marcela, we're talking about the house. The house, right? It does. Okay. Now, uh, Carolina, does Marcela's house have a garden? Yes, she is does. No, ¿Sí? yes, yes, it, 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 it does. Does, okay. Yes, it does. Yes, Good, it thanks. does. Question three. Uh, la tres es, does you... House and um, jacuzzi. <laughs> okay, does your house have a jacuzzi? Oh, I know. Remember, Marcela, we're talking about your house. Your house. So it's not I know. It's it. It. Right? Okay. Repeat the question, Carolina. Repeat the question. No, she. Ah, que does your, Yes, does your house. Does your house and jacuzzi? No, it's not. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Marcela, I need you to make the question. Wait, I have another message. La conexión me está fallando. Ah, okay, good. Permítame que Ana María me está copiando, me está mandando aquí. Okay, good. Let's continue, right? So, Marcela, three questions to Ernesto, please. Three questions to Ernesto. Come on. Okay. Ernesto, do you need a car? Yes. Yes, I do. Marcela, yes, excellent. Da, Marcela, does Ernesto need a, a car? Mm. Yes, he doesn't. No, yes, he does. He does. Yes, he does. Good. Question number two, Marcela. Question two. Ernesto, does, do you like a dog? Okay, do you have? Marcela, do you have? Do you, do you have? Uh -huh. Do you have a dog? Do you have a dog? Ruff, ruff. 
Yes, uh, yes, 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 do, no sé, teacher. Yes, I. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, Marcela, does Ernesto have a, a dog? Yes, it does. Yes, he? He does. Yes, he does. Good. Question three. Uh, do you live in apartment? No, I don't. Does Ernesto live in an apartment, Marcela? Uh, no, he's... No, he? He's done. No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, very good. Let's go very fast. Ernesto, make the question to Mario, please. Three questions. Come on. Okay. Marcel, do you have garage? Uh -huh, Mario. Yes, I do. Does Mario have a oh, Mario. garage? Oh, Mario. Does Mario have a garage, Ernesto? Eh... No, no sé cuál, teacher. Do you... <laughs> no, no. Wait. The question is, Mario, do you have a garage? And Mario say, yes, I do. Yes, right? I do. Mario say, yes, Correcto. I do. Now, I, I make the question, Ernesto, to you. Does Mario have a garage? Yes or no? Eh, hago otra vez la pregunta no, 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 no you hear question. the answer you hear the answer, ya la respondió Mario ok, ahora yo quiero yo quiero enterarme del chambre, come on does Mario have a jar, a garage sorry, does Mario have a garage yes or no eh, ¿qué le yes. dijo Mario? ¿qué le dijo Mario? <laughs> repeat Mario, repeat <laughs> yes I do yes, yes I do uh -huh. does Mario have a garage He, he does. Yes, he, he does. Excellent. Continue. Question two. Question two. Yes. Come on, hurry. He, he does. Question uh, two. Mario, uh, do you live garden? Do you have? Do you have garden? Uh, yes, I do. Does Mario have a garden, Ernesto? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he, do. yes, he, yes, does. he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay. Eh, Mario, eh, do you have living room? Do you have? Do you have living room? Living room? Yes, I do. Oh. Good. Eh, Ernesto, does Mario have a living room? Living room, en sala. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Does Does Mario yeah. have a living room? Yeah, yes, he, yeah, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. Right. Thank you, yes, Mario. Your questions to, to maybe. Uh, maybe do you have a pet in your house? Yes, I does. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Does maybe have a pet, Mario? Yes, she does. Good. Continue. Question two. How many rooms does your house have? Okay, good. This is a good sorry. question. Excellent question. But, sorry, Mario. In this moment, we're going to slow down. Slow down. And only yes, no question. Only yes, no question. Right? Yes? Perdón que lo frene, Mario, pero vamos a empezar solo con la yes, no question. Okay? okay. Good, do, you good. Have, uh, do you have rooms in your house? No, I don't. Ah, Sorry, baby, come on. Yes, it does. It. Yes, it does. Tiene cuarto en su casa, ¿no? Ah, pues, yeah, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Ok. Como ya nos entretuvimos, vamos a acelerar un poquito. Maybe. You made the question to Saúl, please. Thank you, Mario. Thank you. No, maybe. Make the question to Saúl and we finish. We finish. Okay. Do you live in San Salvador? Saúl. Saúl. No, I don't. Does Saul live in San Salvador, maybe? No, she's... No, she, no, come on, she, hey. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no he, no he. No, he, no, he. No, he doesn't, eh? No, he doesn't. Okay, good, continue. Question two. Uh, do you have a cat? Meow. No, I don't. 
Does Saul have a meow meow? No hit. No hit. No he doesn't. No he doesn't. No he doesn't. No he doesn't. No, he, no, doesn't. he doesn't. Okay, good. Nice. Question three, and we finish. Question three. Uh, do you have piscina? Do you have? Present. The, do you, do you, do you have, have piscina? Uh, okay, wait. And how? Piscina is swimming pool. Do you have a swimming pool? Repeat, maybe. Do you, do have, you have a swimming pool? A swimming pool? No, I don't. No, it. I will no, it, we're... no, no, it don't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Uh, remember, we're talking about the house. Estamos hablando de la casa, verdad? Yes. Sí. No, no, it doesn't. Yes. Okay, good. Thank no, you very it much. Doesn't. Now let's go to the next exercise. Ready? We are going to listen and check. Right? Pay attention, please. Here we have four houses. Or apartment, right? So I need you number the houses or apartments in the correct order. Number up, uh, number one, number two, number three, and number four. Ready? Okay, listen, please. Page 45, exercise four, listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Two. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of a large modern building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Three. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Four. My family and I live in an old house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a nice yard and lots of trees. We like it a lot. Good. So they are describing, they are making a description of the apartments or, or, or the houses, right? So we are going to listen for the second time, and then I will choose some specific students that you're going to tell it. This picture, picture number one is number one, two, three... Picture number two, number one, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, listen. For Page 45, time. exercise yes. four. Number the pictures from one to four. One to four. One. Right? My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Two. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of a large modern building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Three. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Four. My family and I live in an old house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a nice yard and lots of trees. We like it a lot. Okay, Ana Maria, please. What number is this picture, Ana Maria? Two? Picture is number two. Listen, Ana Maria. Cling. Correct, yes. Okay. Brian, the next picture. 
One, two, three. No, it's one, three, or four, right? Brian? This picture, look. No, 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 no. No, again, I will, I will play again, right, Brian? Se lo voy a poner una vez más, a ver si, si, si lo entiende. Eh, está describiendo cuatro lugares, Mar eh, Brian, sorry. Eh, ya Ana María nos describió que en la conversación dos están hablando de un apartamento en el quinto piso, ¿verdad? Ok, ahora solo usted me va a decir, esta casita negra, ¿qué número es? La uno, la tres o la cuatro, ¿ok? Pay attention, pay attention. On the first floor of a house. From one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Two. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of a large modern building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Three. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Four. My family and I live in an old house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a nice yard and lots of trees. We like it a lot. Okay, one more time. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Two. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of a large modern building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Three. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Four. My family and I live in an old house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a nice yard and lots of trees. We like it a lot. Okay, Brian. So according to the description, Brian, this picture uh, is number one, number three, or number four? Number four. Number four, correct. Brian, nice. Okay, give me a second. Four, right? Number four. Thank you very much, Brian. Now, the next picture, right? This is the next picture. Let me show you. Good. The question goes to... Que esté en la noche de los participantes. Sigue sí, poquito activo tengo. Eh, Dagoberto, please help me, Dagoberto. What number is this, according to you? Number three. Number three. Oh, my God. You're totally right. Number three, right? Good. And finally, finally, the picture... The last picture, right? Uh, the one. question the question goes to um, to Carolina. Carolina? Two. Number two. Mm. No, the apartment building is number two. Carolina. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Yes. Uh, yes. Number one. Are you sure? Carolina? Yes. <laughs> okay, yes, you're right. Good. Por ahí había, le habían soplado la respuesta, pero ah, no, no alcanzó a escuchar. <laughs> okay, good. So, that's it, right? Any questions? Que okay, wait a minute, I have a message. Ah, yes, yes, very good. Por aquí me contestaron también. Sí, es bien sencilla. Eh? Yo... 
Okay, let's continue. Let's continue, right? Now, this is the practice with yes, no question. Now we finish in this. I will share now the, the manual and we are to make some questions in the manual, right? Let's go to the manual. <laughs> Okay, give me a second, give me a second here. The manual, the manual. Vamos a compartir el manual. Let's go to the manual, right? Okay, good. Yes? Uh, I have a problem with the camera. Uh, Saul, no problem, but... But, my, but I, my... I hear it, I hear. No, we hear you very good, Saul, no problem. <laughs> you can fix it later, right? Lo puede arreglar después. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Yes. Es que no sé por qué se me apaga la cámara cuando la activo. Ah, uh, sorry. Eso es cuando uno no paga la luz. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I don't know. It's a problem. But maybe it's the internet sometimes. A veces el internet no es muy fuerte. Entonces eso. O, o está un poco bajo ahí. But I hear it, teacher. Hear okay, it. good. That's the most important. Don't worry. And you can answer. You can participate, Saul. This, this, this is the important. Okay. Page number 24, page 24. Remember that if you have your manual, if you want to print your manual, you can do it. You can print the manual. And then when I say, okay, page 24, we only practice, right? Okay, let's continue with the yes, no question. So do I get up early? He says, yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you call? Yes, you do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do they transport? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Do we check? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Right now, we're going to make questions. And then we are going to answer the question, right? And then we are going to work in groups. Eh, como hoy tenemos muchos oyentes, muchos oyentes, right? Eh, vamos a hacer solo dos grupos only two groups, right? ok, let me see please make a screenshot of this of this, right? hagamos una captura de pantalla chicos screenshot please screenshot please ready? Mario, do me a favor Mario Make the screenshot and send to the chat. To the chat, please. Mario or Marcela, sometimes you help me, please. Screenshot and send to me. Let me see. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Yes, excellent. Oh, my gosh. Three. Saul, Marcela, and Mario. Yes, thank you very much. Now we are ready. Let's go to the groups, right? Only two groups. Group number one. Recuerden que hay un montón de oyentes en cada grupo. Así es que ahí son los que estén activos. Van a participar. Okay. Group number one. Eh, Carolina. Ernesto. Mario. Marlon. A ah, Otmar no le hemos hecho preguntas ahora, ¿verdad? Sí. Perdón, Osmar, que no le he hecho preguntas. Se me ha pasado por alto, discúlpeme. Pero aquí puede participar en este grupo. Ok, good. Osmar, Saúl y todos los demás son oyentes. Ok, number two. Ana María, Brian, Dagoberto. Griselda está de oyente, creo, ¿verdad? Sí está de oyente. Oh. Eh... Jorge Alberto, Jorge, no, Jorge está oyente. Eh, Josué también está oyente. Marcela también está oyente. Bueno, hoy todos estamos de oyente, ¿verdad? Marcela. No, no, Marcela no está de oyente. No, no, no. Aquí, aquí estoy. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Sí, no, no, perdón, Marcela, usted no está de oyente. Entonces, Marcela está en el grupo 2 y maybe, ¿ok? I want to participate too. Ah, Chris, ok, Chris, lo activamos entonces. Yeah, activation, sure. activation, activation, Chris. So, Chris, you are in group number one. 
Teacher, I guess that we need the example first. The example first. Yeah, yeah. no problem. No problem. Look. Your work company. Uh -huh. So last time I was listening a group. And in the group, well, the student was Jorge, right? Jorge Orellana. And Jorge was saying, listen, the first part and the most important is the subject. So you work company. What is the subject in you work company? The subject is? The subject is you. You, correct. Me, me, uh, no. you, right? So yeah. This is the subject, right? Good. And what is the verb? What is the action? The action is work. Work, work correct. Very good. Then the rest, easy, easy, no problem, easy. Okay, so because the subject is you, what is the auxiliary? The auxiliary is do or does? Do or does? The auxiliary, uh, uh, wait. The auxiliary only you can use when... Do uh, or does? Do or does? Only. Do or does? Does. Does you? Mm, no lo sé, Rick. Do no, you work? No. Do you? Do you? Do you? Okay, do. Do you okay, work? Okay. Do you work in a company? Do you work in a company? Okay, and the answer, the possible answer is yes. Yes, I yes, do. I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I, yes, do, I right? do. Okay, do you see? This is the example, Chris. This is the example. Okay? Yeah. Understand? Yeah. Okie dokie. Now, do it by your own. Ahora ustedes solitos. <laughs> okay? So, so, five questions and five answers. I recommend a secretary, a secretary in each group, right? Le recomiendo que nombren un secretario o secretaria en cada grupo y todo lo demás le ayudan, ¿ok? Sincero, ¿en cuál grupo estoy? No escuché bien. Brian, you are in group number two. Marlon. I will, I will repeat, I will repeat, ok. Group number one, group number one. Eh, Chris, a los oyentes no los menciono, solo voy a mencionar los activos, ok. Chris... Eh, Carolina, Ernesto, Mario, Marlon, Otmar, and Saúl. Group number one. Group number two. Ana María, okay. Brian, Dagoberto, eh, y maybe. <laughs> okay. Todos los demás están de oyente. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here we go. No sé si sería la primera. No, tenés que poner primero el do, porque do la pregunta do. siempre es el verbo primero. Do you, mm -hmm. do you, work? Do do you, you work? work in the company? In the company. Sí, ese es el ejemplo que puso el teacher. Do you work in the company? Y cierra con el signo de interrogación. Who is the secretary in this group? ¿Quién es el secretario en este grupo? The secretary? Brian. Marcela. Brian. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Lo dije primero. 
Cuánta maldad hay. Cuánta maldad hay en este mundo. ¿no? Pero hay un Dios que todo lo ve. Hay un Dios que todo lo ve. No, vamos a, a escoger a, a Dagoberto. Dagoberto es bien buzo aquí, va. Ok, Dago. You copy. You copy, Dago. Ok. Ok, now everybody help. Ahora todos ayudemos a Dago. Please. Number one. Number one. Do you. Company. Ajá. Do you. Copy, Dago. Work. Do you work company? Work in a company. Yeah, in a company. Yes. Copy, Dago. Copy. Yes. Do you, Do you work, work in a company? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. I do. I yes, do. I do. Good. Now, continue. Number two. Number two. No. Uh, so, uh, Do they Estamos diciendo que era das. Do they? Do they, creo que es. The products. Do they check the products? Okay. Check a product. No, they do. No, they do or no, they don't. No, they don't. Ah, they don't. La otra, ¿cómo sería? La tres. Do we listen a post? Me imagino que sería yes, I do. Ahí das vas. Yo material. La cuatro. No, number three, the answer. Number three, what is the answer? Do we uh -huh. listen, do do we listen we to listen a post? Yes. Listen the customer. Yes. Con, yes, yes, I do. I do. Yes, no, yes, I, I do. No, because listen to the question. ¿Escuchamos nosotros a los clientes? Sí, ustedes, yeah. ustedes los escuchan. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Correct. Yes, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go to number four. Four. Das, I das, but new material, why? Creo que sería, do I buy do I... new material? Oh. 
Uh, and the answer, the answer is? Do, no. No, no. I don't. No. Es, no, she does. No, you, you doesn't. No. Uh -huh. no, you no, don't. no, you don't. No, you don't. Excellent. Listen in Spanish. Eh, compro yo el material. Compro nuevo? yo el material nuevo. Ah. Ah, no, tú no lo compras. No, tú no. No, you don't. Okay, number five, please. Los dejo porque voy a ir a chequear el grupo 1, ¿ok? Hágame el 5 y luego ya los voy a llamar a la sala principal, ¿ok? Good. Ok. ¿Finish? Ok. Yes, thank you, thank you. Now, the group number one, the group number two, sorry, is working in, in question five in this moment. So in just a moment, in just a moment, we go to the to the principal room, to the principal room, right? In just a moment. Okay, ready? Here we go, right? Let me share the screen with you. Okay, group number one, please. Group number one, ready? What is the question? Group number one. Do you work in the company? Do you work in a company? In a company. Yes. I do. Yes, I do, right? Okay, group number two. Do they check the product? Do they check the product? No. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Good. Group, group number one, please. Do we listen to the customer? Do we listen to customers? Yes. We do. Mm -hmm. But in this question, when I say, eh, escuchamos nosotros, ah, si sí, ustedes, ustedes, so. Yes, they do. No. Yes. We do. Yes, you do. You. You do, right? Yes, you do. Because it's... Escuchamos nosotros a los clientes. Ah, sí, ustedes lo hacen. Ustedes, right? Okay, understand? Good. Now, group number... One, two, one, two. Group number two, please. Do I buy the new material? 
do I buy the new material? No, you don't. No, you don't, correct. No, tú no, ¿verdad? No, you don't. Good. And number five, please. Group number one. Do Milena and Pablo design the logo? Do Milena and Pablito design uh, the logo, we say, right? The logo. Yes. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now, help me, please. Uh, Brian. Brian, you make the question and Dagoberto the answer. Okay? Brian, the questions. One, two, three, four, five. And Dagoberto the answer. Ready, ready, Brian? One, one, one question. One by one. Question one, question two, question three. Question, okay? Go ahead. Uh, uh, five. No. Okay. No. Let's start with one, Brian. Uh, one. Do you work in a company? Dago? Yes, I do. Continue, Next. Brian. Yes, continue. Uh, uh, do they check the product? No, they don't. Do, do we list, listen to customers? Yes, you do. Do I buy the new material? No, you don't. Do Milen, do Milen and Pablo testing the logo? No, yes, they do. Yes, they do, okay. right? For a moment, I thought that to say, no, they don't. It was a, así se no chamber, <laughs> así se no chamber. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Dagoberto. Any question? Any question, class? Now, do you think it's, it's more difficult or, or more, more complicated? <laughs> difficult or complicated? So-so. So-so, okay. <laughs> Teacher, uh, number three, Porque en do we eh, y el afirmativo es yes you do. Okay, because think in Spanish. In one moment you say nosotros miren y nosotros escuchamos a los clientes. Ah sí, ustedes, you ustedes, right? ustedes lo hacen. Ustedes escuchan a los clientes. Understand? So you is in plural. You is singular and is also plural. Right? Notice number four. Do I buy? No, you don't, right? Do we? Yes, you do. So in this case, let's go to the translation. You means, in singular, right? Means two. Two, right? When we talk about singular. And you also means uh, ustedes when we talk about plural, right? Plural. Plural. So in this case, when I say, eh, miren y nosotros escuchamos los clientes, y miren y a nosotros nos gustan las pupusas. Sí, a ustedes les gustan las pupusas, y ustedes escuchan a los clientes, you know? So that's why you say you, right? Because remember, when we make the question, we answer different. For example, when I say, do you live in Cujucuyo? And you say, Yes, you live in Cucuyo, right? No, it's not you. <laughs> yes, I live in Cucuyo. Yes. yes uh -huh. Or make this question. Do you, ustedes, do you live in, uh, this is in Departamento de la Paz, right? Do you live in Tejuiste Abajo? Do you live in, in Tejuiste Abajo? And then you say, yes, we do. Si sí, nosotros vivimos. Yes, we do. So you can make two questions. Tú haces esto o ustedes hacen eso, right? And then you say, yes, I do. 
or yes, we do. Right? It's not uh, the same uh, subject. No siempre usamos el mismo sujeto. En la respuesta cambiamos el sujeto algunas veces. Okay? Understand? Understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Yes. Very good. Yes, Understand. teacher. Yes, okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. And thank you for the question. Gracias por sus preguntas. Me fascina que me hagan preguntas. Me encanta que me hagan preguntas. Yes. Okay, now. Let's continue, please. Now we're going to make a more difficult exercise. Hoy vamos a hacer el ejercicio más difícil de todos. Ready? Okay. Um... Yeah, give me a second here. Good. Now it says, does he ask for assistance? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. That, sorry, does she ask for assistance? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does he drive the truck on weekends? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does Elena make phone calls? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does our company check the policies? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't, right? Okay, now, here in this, we are going to create the question. We have the answer, look. The answer is, yes, he does. He fixes the air conditioner, the air conditioner on Friday. So what is the question? And we're going to do something, right? Something very easy. Girls versus boys, right? I will let you work alone. Los voy a dejar trabajar solitos, right? But we're going to make a competence. Four questions, four points, right? Cuatro preguntas, cuatro puntos. So, when I say volunteers, you're going to say uh, number one, number two, number three, number four, right? If it is a woman, the women have one point, right? Si es una chica la que me da la respuesta de la 1, las chicas van a tener un punto, ¿ok? Pero si es un chico, el punto es para los chicos. Who's going to win? ¿Quién va a ganar? ¿Las chicas o los chicos? Ok, I repeat the instructions. You are going to create the question, ¿understand? Ustedes me van a crear la pregunta. La respuesta ya está. Lo que van a hacer ustedes es crear la pregunta. ¿Ready? Ok, let's do it. Do it, do it, do it. This part is very difficult. Esta parte bien difícil. Come on, you, but you can do it. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay, number mm -hmm. one. Boy or girl? Raise your hand, participation, volunteers. Boy or Two. girl? Sorry? Boy. Boy, eh, eh, Dago, Dago, okay. What is the question, Dago? Does he fixes the AC on Friday? Does he fixes? Does he fixes 
the AC on Friday? Good. Now I will give the chance to the girls. Le voy a dar la oportunidad a las chicas. Wow. Girls. Hola. Is correct or incorrect? Correcto. Is correct. It's correct. Oh, sorry. Okay. No point for the boys or the girls. Sorry. El, el punto lo perdieron los chicos y lo perdieron las chicas también. Because it's not, it's not fixes, it's fixed. Fix. Why? Why is that? Remember what we say yesterday, right? Remember what we say. Every time we use the auxiliary, the verb, the verb doesn't, doesn't change. change. Yes. Cada vez que usamos el auxiliar, el verbo no cambia, right? So it's, does he fix the AC on Friday? Okay, good. Estuvo cerca, Dago, sorry. <laughs> okay, question two. Does she? Uh -huh, it's a girl, okay. It's a girl, right? Uh -huh. Does she? Does she send the many send... mm -hmm. customer to the small? I'm sorry. A and B customer. Yes, yes, sustento. Yes, small. No, no, no. I don't understand. That just that she sends many many many. many. many? No, no. Boys, boys, easy, okay. easy, boys. Chicos, tranquilo, tranquilo. Sobre... Sí, Enrique, voy a la canelita. Ok, vamos hey, a, bien, voy a... Voy a apagar un ratito Chau, los mamá. micrófonos. Venga, mamá. Ok. Good, let's continue. Eh, Marcela. Marcela, right? Hola, mande. Ok, usted me estaba diciendo la pregunta, ¿va, Marcela? Sí. Sí, ok, good. Does she send many? Customer? Does she send many customers? Ella envía a los clientes. Many de clientes. <laughs> Ok. Does she send many? Chicas, chicas. Gmails to customers. A uh, emails. Email. To customers, right? Ok, boys. Is correct or incorrect, boys? Is it correct? Is Inco it... Incorrect, Mario? No, no, is it correct? Uh, it's correct. It it's is correct. It is. It is correct. It is correct. It's correct. Good. One point for the girls. Girls one, boys zero. Come on, teacher. Come on. Sorry. Okay, number three. Number three. What is the question in number three? Boy. Oh, okay, boy. Come on. What is the question? Do, does she cleans only this first floor? Does she cleans only the first floor? Ah, ya le vi la cara, compañero. <laughs> okay. Clean. Yes. Ah. Excuse me. Clean. Does I say clean. clean. I, I say clean. clean. Oh, oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay, excuse me. I, I heard cleans, but if you say clean, that's okay. So does she clean, right? The first floor only? Or well, only the first floor? So the order is not important in this case. Okay, girls, is it correct? Girls. Correct. This is correct, right? Okay. Girls one, boys one. Okay. Number four, the untie, the desempate. Come boy. On. Boy. Okay. What is the question? Does Eric keep track on the self? The power of the man, teacher. I see. I see. ¿Qué les pasó, chicas? Okay, does Eric keep track on the cell? Correct or incorrect? Correct. 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 Okay, so the boys two, girls one, right? 
And the winners are the boys. Venga, mamá. No te voy a dar jamón. Con, con, congratulations. Congratulations. Por favor, sí. quiero que le, le dé un poquito de jamón, no sea así. Ok. Now, let's continue, right? I have a message. I have a message. Let me see. Eh, me sacó el inter. Ah, sorry. Aquí está de nuevo con todos los poderes, ¿verdad? Thank you, Claudia. Okay, let's continue, right? Now we're going to go to the presentation for today. The presentation for today. But I, I have to make this question. Okay, we finish the verb to be. Affirmative, negative, and question is... Uh, I am a teacher. You are a student. She is a doctor, right? Affirmative with the verb to be. Negative. I am not a doctor. They aren't in the in the park. Questions. Are you Mario? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Uh, are you in your house? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Okay, now. Verb to be, affirmative, negative, and question. Now we finish simple present. Simple present, right? Verb to be, simple present. Simple present, affirmative. I work in a company. You speak English. She works in the city. Negative. I don't like, I don't like soda. She doesn't live in Santa Ana. They don't play football. Negative, right? Now, question. Do you like pupusas? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does she work in uh, Almacenes Simán? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Okay, good. So, we have affirmative negative in questions with the verb to be and with the simple present, right? Okay? Ya aprendimos cómo hacer oraciones afirmativas, negativas y preguntas con el verbo to be y con el presente simple, okay? Good. Do you have any extra question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta extra? ¿Hay algo de estos dos temas que no han logrado entender todavía? Podemos hacer más ejemplos, más ejercicios. ¿No? Ok. So let's go to the presentation of today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Inglés para el Trabajo, right? In Safor, Inglés Corporativo, and the teacher Javier Gómez, say, welcome. This class is class number eight. Class number eight, right? And the topic is daily routines and activities. What is the, the objective? Marcela, please read the objective for the class. I, I will be able to ask partner question about someone else. They routine and says what they do not. Or what they don't, right? What they do or what they don't. Thank you very what much. What they don't. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So daily routines. Daily routines. Now, let's go and, and let's check it out the, the structure of the question, right? Auxiliary do, subject you, the verb like, and the complement, pizza, right? This is with do. Now, with does. Does she live in La Unión? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Auxiliary does. Subject she. The verb live in La Unión. is the complement, right? Now, when do you use do? With I, you, we, and they. When do you use does? With he, she, and it, right? And remember, this is not verb to be. Aquí no estamos hablando del verbo to be. No, we're talking about the simple present, right? Continue. Now, how do you make yes, no question with the simple present? We use the auxiliary do or the auxiliary does? Do I, do you, 
do we, do they, do Sylvia and Candy ask for assistance? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Etc. Etc. Do. Good question. And that's right. We use that with he, she, it, or singular. Does he ask for assistance? Does she ask? Does it ask? Does my friend ask for assistance? Does Oscar, does Christian, does Glenda ask for assistance? Only one, singular, right? Good. And remember that every time I use does, every time I use does, okay, uh, here, right? Oh, excuse me. Permítame que se me borró aquí el, la herramienta. Ah, das. Every time I use das, the verb remains the same. No cambiamos el verbo, right? Entonces, does she asks? No, you don't do that, right? Don't forget that. Okay, let's continue. Okay, these are some of the regular activities or the routines you do in your work, in your company, right? Know the policies, know the regulation, help workers, help people, help the company, advertise the company, design softwares, develop softwares, Answer the phone. Make phone calls. Good. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Know the policies. Know the regulations. Help workers. Help people. Help the company. Advertise the company. Design softwares. Develop softwares. Answer the phone. Make phone calls. Good class. Any question about the meaning? Policies, for example, right? Políticas o o regulaciones de las compañías, right? Know the policies. Questions? Ajá, uh -huh, Mario. No, no questions. No sí, question. Sí. Do you know how to say develop in Spanish, Mario? How do you say develop in Spanish? Develop softwares. I guess is this, desarrollar the software, desarrollar the program. Desarrollar, uh, desarrollar. Desarrollo de software, you know, develop software. And how do you say advertise in Spanish? Ya lo dije la vez pasada, a ver si se acuerdan. Advertise. How do you say advertise in Spanish? Otmar? Otmar casi no ha par participado ahora, lo siento, Otmar. No me recuerdo. No, no. Ok, advertise quiere decir publicitar, publicitar. Publicitar la compañía, right? Very nice. Okay, good. Now let's continue. Here we have more activities you do in your company. These are more examples of the activities you do in your company, right? Examples of 
activities you do in your company. Write reports, send reports, send emails, arrange meetings, carry boxes, carry products, keep track, repair computers, ask for assistance. Okay, now repeat after me, please. repeat after me. Write reports. Send reports. Send emails. Arrange meetings. Carry boxes. Carry products. I'm yeah, oh, sorry, keep track, keep track. Repair computers. Ask for assistance. Good. Questions? What, what is the meaning of arrange? Arreglar. Planificar, planear reuniones. Thank you. Any other question? Uh, ask, ask for assistance. Pedir asistencia, solicitar asistencia, solicitar ayuda. Ask for assistance, right? Thanks. Good. Any other question? Any other question? No. no. Okay. Let's continue. More activities. Install programs. Sell products. Exchange information, buy new merchandise, receive money, decide what to buy, transport products, fix cars. Okay, now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Install programs. Sell products. Exchange information. Buy new merchandise. Receive money. Decide what to buy. Transport products. Fix cars. Good. Any question? Questions about the meaning? What the meaning of exchange information in Spanish? Intercambiar, intercambiar. Intercambiar information, right? Remember that uh, sometimes we have some companies here and some companies there, and then they exchange information. They interchange, right? Because this is the the relation of the of the uh, for example, products or, or documents. Or what else? Or business, no, you know, negotiate. No chambre. No chambre. No, no, no. Uh, it, it's a, the regular activity of the some company, right? Exchange information. Uh, in other, other thing is that you you 
you pay for information, right? You pay for this information and this information is important for your company. Okay? So, a company A with company B. So, they they exchange information. And benefit for company A and benefit for company B, right? It's positive, yes. Okay, good. Any other question? Any other question? No? Okay. Now, uh, I have a question. Which of these activities do you practice in your company? Which of these activities do you practice in your company? In the real life, right? In la vida real. In the real life. Write reports. You write reports in your company. Okay, nice. What else? ¿Qué más? What else? What else? Exchange information. You exchange information in your company. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Between students. Oh, okay, yes. In this case, yes. Between students, yes. What else? I help people, I guess. Okay. In your company, you help people, Mario? Yeah, because yes. uh, you, you are, are a teacher, teacher, right? You are a teacher, yes, I know. Yes. The best profession in the world. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> okay, class. Very good. Now let's continue. Let's continue. Good. Now let's omit the activities in the company. Now we're going to practice with activities in your house. Right? What do you do every day? What is a daily routine that you make? That is what is something that you do every day. Get up. Get up. Get dressed. Take a shower. Brush my teeth. Comb my hair. Shave. Put on makeup. For the women, not for the men. For the women. Okay. Eat breakfast. Come home, make dinner, study, watch TV, go to bed. Now repeat us to me, please. Repeat us to me. Daily routines at home. Daily routines at home. Get up, get dressed, take a shower, brush my teeth, comb my hair, shave, Put on makeup. Put on makeup. Eat breakfast. Come home. Make dinner. Study. Watch TV. Go.
go to bed. Good. Questions? Do you have questions? How do you Any say anything? Question. Uh huh. Yes. No questions. How do you say, for example, comb my hair, or put on makeup, or brush my teeth? How do you say that Peinarse. in Spanish? Sorry, Peinarse. Mario. Uh, Peinarse. Okay. Cepillarse. 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 Yes. Si tiene, si no. Uh huh. If not. <laughs> yeah, in my case, look, uh, almost right. Yo casi a uh, Voy camino a goodbye. <laughs> yes, okay. Good. Now, no more no more questions. Good. Now we're going to make an exercise, right? I will say uh a person and you're going to say I get up, you get up, they get up, my friend gets up, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Okay, uh Jancy. Jancy. Okay, Saul, please. Get up, Saul. Make a sentence saying, get up. Get up. Mm -hmm. I get up, you get up, they get up. I get up. Good, thank you. Get dressed, Otmar. Get dressed. I get dressed. Good. Now, maybe. Ahora cambiamos el sujeto. Ya no digamos hi. You, they, my friend. Uh-huh. Maybe. You? Mm -hmm. You? Take? You take, get up. No, you take a shower, say. You? You take a shower. Good, thank you. Thank you very much, maybe. Now, Marlon, brush my teeth. My son brush my teeth. His teeth, right? Aquí le vamos a cambiar his. Ah, ok. Yes, my son because... brush he... his teeth. Sí. Ajá, sí, porque no es mi hijo me cepilla mi diente. ¿no? No. Mi hijo se cepilla su diente. De... <laughs> ok, thank you. Now, eh, Mario, comb my hair. Jorge, comb her, his hair. Good. Jorge comes. Comes, comes his hair. His hair. Good. My son brushes his teeth. Jorge combs his hair, right? Thank you. Now, Ernesto, shave. I shave. Okay, you shave. Menos mal que no me mencionó una chica, porque con las chicas no aplica ahí, shave. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, eh, Marcela. Put on makeup. Uh, I am put on makeup. I put on makeup. I put on makeup. makeup. Yes. Okay, good. I am no, right? I am no. It's only I put on makeup. Put on put makeup. Put on makeup. Thank you. Carolina. Eat breakfast. I eat breakfast. Good. Glenda, come home. We go home. Good. Dagoberto, make dinner. Dago? You make dinner. Good. Thank you. Brian, study. I study. Good. Ana Maria, watch TV. They watch TV. Okie dokie. You see? So this is simple. Daily routines is something you do frequency, a frequency, you know? That's a routine, that's a habit. Okay, good. Now here we have more, more activities. These are free time routines. Cuando no estamos trabajando, cuando no estamos estudiando. What do you do? Exercise, up and down. Up and down. Exercise, right? Listen to music. Play football. Go out for dinner. Go dancing. Take a nap. Read. 
check media. Go to the movies. Visit friends. Now, repeat us to me, please. Repeat us to me. Exercise. Listen to music. Play football. Go out for dinner. Go dancing. Take a nap. Read. Check media. Go to the movies. Visit friends. Okay, like the other activities class, here we can use subject. I can say I exercise, you exercise, my friend exercises, I listen to music, they listen to music. Uh, my brothers play football, you go out for dinner, I go dancing, etc., etc., right? Any question? Question? No question. No question? No question, teacher. Excellent. Now, let's continue, right? Here we have now those activities that we don't like to do, you know? Que hacer domésticos. Household chores routine, right? Wash the dishes clean the house, do the laundry, take out the garbage, go shopping, dust, sweep, mop. I want to clarify this mop, right? Mop is not Ministerio de Obras Públicas. No, no. Mop is trapear. Trapear, you know, mop. Good. Now, repeat us to me, please. Repeat us to me. Wash the dishes. Clean the house. Do the laundry. Take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. Sacar la basura, right? Take out the garbage. Go shopping. Dust. Limpiar el polvo, right? Dust. Sweep. Sweep. Mop. Mop. Good. Any question? Any question? No question. I have a question, teacher. Sweep, uh -huh. What sweep is the question? Is barrer, ¿verdad, teacher? Is, sweep is barrer. Es que pensé que era bailar, pero como lo vi ahí con... No, no, no. It's this, you know. <laughs> sweep. <laughs> this is, no, dancing is this, Mario. Look. Dancing is this. Okay. <laughs> is it? Uh -huh, yes, Marlon. What is the meaning of the garbage? Uh, take garbage. out the garbage. La basura. Sacar la basura. Take out the garbage. Mm. Garbage. Take out the garbage. Garbage. Thank you. Good. Do the laundry okay. is lavar la ropa, right? Do the laundry. And wash the dishes. Lavar los trastes. Okay. Good. To finish, we are going to introduce the use of frequency adverbs. Okay. Remember, we have subject, verb, and complement, right? But sometimes to show the routine, to show the frequency of the activity, we use frequency of, right? So we have always, all the time, algo que hago todo el tiempo, always. Usually that is like 90%, 80%, right? Often that is like, you know, 60%. 
sometimes, like 40%, you know, como 40%, right? Rarely, raramente, pocas veces, right? Like 10% and never, never. For example, I always, I always like Barcelona. I never like Real Madrid. Barcelona. Example, example, only one example. Right? Always, never. Okay, look at the example. I always run. I always run. Siem, siempre salgo a correr. Or oh, the opposite. I never run. Nunca salgo a correr. Solo cuando maneja el bus. <laughs> okay? Or oh, I sometimes run. So the position is, pay attention. The position is, this is the last part, right? Aquí terminamos. Solo, solo voy a ponerle esto. I is the subject. Always is the frequency other. And run is the activity, right? So the position of the frequency other is between the subject and the verb, right? Entre el sujeto y el verbo siempre vamos a poner el adverbio de frecuencia. ¿Y para qué nos sirve? Solo para mostrar con qué frecuencia se hace algo, right? Okay, uh, we have some exercises. We're going to make it tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. And let me see. Yes, these are the exercises, right? Good. Esto nos queda para mañana. Now, I will ask something. Uh, Brian, eh, como dijimos al principio, tenemos al final de la clase, Brian, unos 10 minutos. Bueno, ahorita serían 8 minutos, nada más, 7. Casi. Este, para asesoría personal, Brian. No sé si quiere okay. quedarse esta, esta noche conmigo, Brian. Está bien. Está okay, bien, está good, bien. Good. So, the rest of you, eh, I take the attendance. A los demás, ya les tomé la asistencia. Ya podemos ir a mimir. Ok, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Eh, me termina la plataforma, mañana vamos a terminar los ejercicios para, para que todos tengan completa la, la plataforma, ok. Bye, bye. Solo me quedo bye, con Brian. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye, bye teacher. Bye, good, good, night. Teacher. Good, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Take care. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, Brian, thank you for staying with me tonight. Uh, I don't know if you have any question. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta del tema de, de los que hemos visto. Algo que no, no le haya quedado no. claro. Brian? No, no. no. Uh, we already finished the verb to be, right? Ya, ya vimos todo lo del verbo to be. Afirmativo, negativo, preguntas. Yeah? Y ahora estamos viendo lo que es el presente simple, the simple present, right? Igual, hemos estado viendo oraciones afirmativas, oraciones negativas y preguntas. Cada noche, Brian, yo les envío al grupo de WhatsApp la presentación de PowerPoint, la que vimos ahora, esos ejercicios y todo eso. Todas las noches la envío yo al grupo. Sí, sí, de hecho, yo lo quería, bueno, lo descargué, pero no lo podía abrir. Dice que no, el teléfono ah. como que no, no lo abre. Parece que una aplicación es así toda. Si sí, yo creo, o si no, déjeme ver. Eh, ¿Qué otra forma? No solo en PDF, creo, se puede. Déjeme. Ah, sí, lo voy a convertir de PowerPoint a PDF. Sí, Eso voy a hacer. PDF sí, sí. Si me nos abre el teléfono. Vaya, entonces sí. eh, me, me queda de tarea a mí, Brian, esta noche, cambiar el archivo de, de PowerPoint a PDF para que usted lo pueda abrir. Voy, voy a intentarle pasar los, los, siete, los siete archivos. Ok. Para sí, que porque lo este, uh -huh. quería yo repasar porque hay algunas que yo, no, yo cuando dicen que hay que tomar el screenshot no, no puedo tomar porque no el puede. teléfono ahorita lo tengo como arruinado y, y entonces el botoncito de, de apagado y encendido es que no, no me funciona. Bueno, entonces, ni modo. Hay cosas que me pasan. Hay que mandarlo a reparar al, al mercado de las pulgas ahí para, <risa> para que no funcione, ¿verdad, Brian? Va, está bien, no, no hay sí. problema, este, se los voy a enviar, y eh, usted tiene el manual, ¿verdad, Brian? Porque ahí está en la plataforma también, el manual. Sí, sí. Sí, bueno, y no, no lo ha logrado imprimir, ¿no? No. No, bueno, 
No. Ahí es opción, es opción de usted. Va. Sí, Yo aquí, la verdad aquí que... ya me lo dieron. Ese. <risa> aquí ya, ya no. me dieron, pero está también ahí. Eh, yo también se los envié en PDF, no, no, lo, no lo grabó usted. No, en PDF no lo he visto. Vaya, se lo voy a enviar bueno, también. Imagino que está en el grupo. Sí, sí. Okay. Solo que está de uh, desde la semana pasada. Se lo voy a reenviar ahora. Ok. Para que lo baje también en PDF, ¿sí? Okay. Sí. Okay. Vaya, y he visto que en la plataforma solo me ha logrado hacer un ejercicio, Brian. Con los demás. Ahora, ahora que. Ahora, antes de entrar a la clase, hice los otros dos. Excelente. Bueno, estamos bien entonces, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. ahora pase a la tarea. Sí, que me me queda cuál? poco tiempo, la verdad, por el trabajo. Me imagino, sí, Ay, me imagino. Sí. Y luego, después de sí, trabajar, venir igual. a la clase. Es un compromiso, sí. Brian, ahora. Sí, la ¿verdad? verdad que sí, ahorita ya tenía sueño, pero ni modo. Se ha comprometido con el inglés usted. Y todavía pues, dijo... Sí, el... la verdad Ay. que sí. Y todavía el teacher me va a agarrar 10 minutos más. <risa> ok, va, pero, pero sí, es un esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Es un, un sacrificio sí. personal, pero ya ve que si uno no se sacrifica en la vida, pues no se consigue nada. La verdad, la verdad que ¿verdad? sí, y más que la verdad que no me está costando, la verdad, eh, o sea, es gratis, pues. Sí, correcto. Sí. Bueno, y Por hablando de las, de las clases, Brian, ¿le, ¿le han parecido las clases en las que ha estado? O... Excelente. O muy confuso, muy difícil. O... No, no va despacio, la verdad que ah, yo vale. no tengo mucho. Solo lo que vi en el bachillerato, que fue poco, la verdad, y pues. Sí. Sí tenía un poquito, pero, pero como si ha empezado de inicio, entonces sí. Pero no se, no se graduó el año pasado, Brian, porque yo lo veo en Cepote. <risa> no, 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 ya no. me gradué bastante, ya tengo ah, 25 vale. años. Ah, bueno, yo, yo pensé que tenía unos 20. <risa> no, <risa> ah, <risa> que. Bueno, está bien. Entonces, tiene todas las energías y las neuronas listas para aprender inglés, ¿verdad? Es, eh, ¿verdad? Entonces, mi consejo, eh, Brian, es que, que escuche música en inglés. Que vea películas en inglés de muñequitos ahorita, porque uh -huh. ¿verdad? estamos comenzando. Y no sé si se ha fijado que en el grupo de WhatsApp yo les envío un archivo todos los días. Este... Sí, sí, yo, sí, que la verdad que sí, pero eh, como le digo, a veces, bueno, ni siquiera los mensajes de la casa. Me, me <risa> no puede verlo, sí. Y... Sí, bueno. Sí. Por ejemplo, ahora... Sí que manda video, por eso. ahora les mandé una canción. Que sí, me gustó. sí, eso sí. La de ahora se llamaba Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman, Walking Down. Ah, sí, eso me gusta. Es de, de Roy Orbison, ¿verdad? Roy Orbison, sí. Ah, vaya. Sí, yo... a mí me gusta bastante el rock. Y música en inglés, mucho bastante. Met Metálica, me imagino. Metálica, sí. Ah, vaya, Guns N' Roses y toda la música. Bueno, también ahí sí, puede practicar. Sí. Esa es la clave. Y tiene Netflix o, o HBO o Disney en su casa. HBO. ¿no? HBO. Ahí está. Vea películas. ¿Sabe cuál sale ahí? Creo que es la de, la de los pets, la, las mascotas. Pets. Ajá, la, la vida secreta de las mascotas se llama la película. Pets. Buena película, hay dos, no sé si están las dos ahí en HBO. O oh, también vea la serie, de, la serie de Friends. Que por Friends. Cierto, sí, así se llama una serie. Ah, sí, me gusta, sí, me gusta. No, hombre, ahí tiene para aprender, ¿verdad? Así que practique. Mire, con una película que vea a la semana ya la hizo. Esa, esa la tengo, tengo que poner en inglés, ¿verdad? Solo Obviamente. en inglés, solo en inglés. Y si quiere ponerle subtítulos que los subtítulos sean en, sean en inglés. Así que okay. nada de español, nada de español, solo inglés. Al principio, <ríe> al principio es bien aburrido, súper aburrido. Ah, yo quiero entender, dice usted. Pero no. Sí, porque en las primeras clases yo no entendía nada. ¿eh? Como, como solo se hablaba de inglés. Pues, ahí. Sí, ah, ahora, ver, sí, ahora estamos usando más el inglés. O sea, ya va a llegar un momento que ya solo full inglés. Nada, de vez en cuando yo les tiro ahí una instrucción en español por aquí, por ahí. Pero ahora no, ahora solo full inglés. ¿Verdad, Brian? Sí, así, así va, que espero que. Sí, el oído se va a ir acostumbrando. Así que por favor, uh -huh. practique ahora que ya ha adquirido un compromiso y le aseguro que no se va a arrepentir. Ya va a ver que una vez usted empiece a entender, ah, se le haya gusto a esto, ¿verdad? <risa> ¿Hay alguna pregunta extra, Brian, antes de terminar? No, teacher. Todo no, bien. no. Bueno, entonces todo espero bien. verlo mañana, ¿verdad? Y Ay, 
Have a good night, Brian. God bless you. Bye-bye. Okay, good bye. night.